look, man, I, I don't, I, I ain't gonna say I hate, but I feel like sometimes it falls on deaf ears when I get on here and I speak like this, when I somewhat preach peace and all this, right? But I've been in the back, you know, in the background, watching the whole situation with a uh, young boy and little Dirk. You know, I catch, I'm scrolling on my Instagram, I catch little, you know, clips or just posts. But I haven't dug deep into it because it's like, I'm trying to stray away from promoting that shit. You feel me? I don't care how many views it's going to get me. You know, it's like, I'm trying to stay away from it, but it is kind of hard because it's trending. You know, you know, I am curious to know like, what's really the root of all this aside from the street politics shit like, you know, so I'll be wanting to do my reaction videos to, you know, the diss songs and just to speak on the topic in general with them beefing, you know, Kwando, uh, Lil Dirk, Young Boy, whoever else is involved. He did somebody else too, NLE Chopper. But like I told y'all, I'm trying to elevate myself at a higher frequency. So it's very difficult for me to engage with that stuff. It's like living a double life. Like I can do it. Like I feel I'm strong enough. I'm mentally strong enough, spiritually strong enough to do it. I could pull it off, but I don't know. Y'all let me know if y'all want my input more on these type of topics. You know, I'll bring it to the channel, you know, uh, because obviously I can't react to certain, let me turn this off. I can't react to certain music videos and artists youtube go block it so i guess i could do a little podcast type you know series i guess i don't know y'all let me know if y'all want that but yeah so i just seen little dirk okay i seen the young boy picture i haven't listened i haven't heard none of young boy new music i haven't listened to it i really didn't want to listen to it if i couldn't react to it for y'all which i can't react to it unless i put it on my patreon so if y'all want me y'all want to see these reaction videos let me know y'all got a comment let me know y'all want it if not i'm not gonna, gonna waste my time Damn, El Puyo local line is crowded. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to, damn, damn, damn. Guess I'm gonna be cooking. So yeah, I'm trying to, um, damn, I lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, yeah, I was, so I didn't listen to none of Young Boy, uh, this songs, none of that, I ain't heard none of that. I just, you know, post here and there and I don't even like watch the clips. I don't, anyway, so I seen Young Boy post the picture with the money that said, y'all, niggas gonna die or something like that right this was a few days ago i'm like this nigga wild right then just now literally a five minutes ago or so i seen damn little dirt post a picture with the money spelling out hurry yo bitch ass up or hurry some shit like that and my thing is like bruh i hope they keep it on wax i hope they don't really take it to the streets because just along in Cali and LA where I'm from, we just lost Draco the Ruler, Slim 400, not to mention Nipsey Hussle. Um, it's so many more, like it's just so like, just even like people that's not famous, like somebody I went to school with, you know, um, played basketball with as a child, you know, used to pass by as an adult, you know, in our neighborhood, see him chop it up got killed last night in the same place I used to see him and chop, you know what I mean? So like that did something to me mentally this morning. So it, it just sucks to see violence become just so normal and just so engaging for us. You know what I mean? So that's another reason why it's like, I'd rather not even react or, you know what I mean? Because it's like, but then I, I feel like it's a teaching lesson, it's a learning lesson when these type of situations occur because I'm never finna get on there and, 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 and yeah, this is right. He should have died. He should have killed that nigga. He, no, you feel me? I'm gonna speak some, some logical, knowledgeable, grown man, mature stuff that hopefully somebody could take and it might change their life. So that's why I even, that's why I'm even making this video. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I can say it's not worth it, but I'm not from the streets like they, I'm from the streets, but I'm not from the streets like they from the streets, like they from the streets, like they in the streets. You know, they done seen shit I ain't seen. They done probably been shot, shot at, you know what I mean? So it's like, I can't speak for them. I can't say they wrong. Like that might be they moral, that might be they law, that might be 
that might be is what this is what it is nigga. we this how we get out and it's cool it's respected all around the board but ultimately ultimately for young dudes that's admiring and looking up to a Quando, a Lil Dirk, a young boy, an NLE chopper that's very impressionable or even a grown ass man. A lot of you grown ass niggas be very in, in, impressed by these young niggas trying to be like them. Like you niggas is moving backwards, right? Anyway, that's off topic. It's really not off topic, but to the young niggas, understand no one is untouchable. Your life is very precious, okay? Don't take this shit for granted. It's not a game. This is not Call of Duty out here. We're not playing Call of Duty, okay? We are not playing no motherfucking Call of Duty. You know, cherish your life. Cherish your freedom. You know what I mean? Like, stay out the fucking way. Get your money and stay out the fucking way. It ain't about being the toughest nigga. Like, who? The real gangsters I know, dead or in jail, my nigga. Like, let's keep it 100. You feel me? Like, that, that shit is for the birds. That shit is played out. That shit ain't worth a damn. It ain't worth that street credit. That shit ain't, that ain't no real, that shit don't matter, my nigga. Like, what you gonna do? You gonna die and people gonna be saying, oh, he was a real nigga? Like, nah, I wanna be an old nigga, you feel me? I wanna live for as long as I can live and be here and enjoy my family, my kids, my my life, my freedom. You know, see more of, more of the world, see the crazy shit these people create, these robots and, you know, like, I, I wanna see things travel the world i don't want to be in the hood with millions of dollars beefing with niggas that i'm supposed to be getting money with or that i'm supposed to be like you know what i mean uniting with and doing something better for the culture you know and it's cool like when dirk and these artists are like you know promoting and doing give up give you know back to school giveaways and giving back to their hood like that shit is dope my damn alarm went off. Um, pick these kids up from school. But anyway, like it don't go unnoticed when they do that stuff, right? What's going on? It don't go unnoticed. But my thing is this: why retrain? It's like you why contradict yourself? You know, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's tough to say it again because I'm not in these niggas' shoes. You know what I mean? I don't want to come off like. It's just that easy for niggas to not engage in this shit because I know I, I can imagine I can only imagine you know somebody you feel like somebody testing your gangster or your manhood or disrespecting you like what you go do especially you got these fans you fucking fans man you fans you fans you fans that's what y'all are fans because y'all really some supporters y'all will be making videos like I'm making videos telling your favorite rapper man it ain't worth it instead y'all in the comments trolling y'all promoting this shit. Y'all got them instigating this shit. Like, y'all making this shit. Y'all not making it no better. You feel me? I don't give a fuck what these niggas say. What the fans are saying. The DMs they get. The little clips and YouTube videos and tweets they get. That shit be like, that fuck with their ego. And it make them feel like they got a point to prove. I don't give a fuck how much money these niggas got. I don't, like, what people say matter. So, I ain't the fans fuck the fans I'm talking about the supporters if you a supporter you not finna you not finna like instigate and, and promote and rally for your favorite rapper to crash the fuck out you not finna do that you finna tell this nigga like man I know you know you might be from the street but man nigga we need you here man we need longevity from you we need you to keep making these songs this music is getting me through hard times you feel me all that good shit like you need to sit and go cry and make a video to these niggas or something like Oh, if you a supporter, but it be you toxic ass fans that's in these comments and tweeting and just stirring the shit up. Damn, people want to call me. I'm making a video. Um, but ultimately, man, like y'all, uh, like let's do better, man. Little Dirt, NLE Chopper, Young Boy, Quando. If y'all happen to come across this video, man, just think about what I just said. And if y'all fans or supporters of them, man, spam them, share this shit to them, man. Like, share this shit to the world. You know, I'm only one person. I can only do so much. But if you could take my message, share, take my message and, 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 and relay it to somebody else, then, like, my job is done. You feel me? If this touched one person and make them think twice about going doing some stupid shit or if it helps them get out the streets, you know, and make something of themselves, then my job is done. You get what I'm saying? But make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next video.